Good morning. Welcome to Presence of Light with Charlie Riverman Bergeron. And thank you all for showing up, even though you haven't arrived in this moment yet. Um, going to wait a few minutes for people to gather and uh, just want to share the title. Today's message was rapidly moving forward. So um, I see seven people I think have arrived. Yeah, Liani, bless you. Good morning. And uh, yeah, so rapidly moving forward um, was an adjustment of my original title and what I woke up to. Uh, I woke up to uh, an amazing <clears throat> expression of um, the word forgiveness and it was really uh, about forgiving myself for um, pushing myself so hard um, through these amazing frequencies and energies uh, i do that because of who i am as an earth angel but as a human I um, I suffer sometimes as a result of that uh, energetic push. So that's what today's talk about is rapidly moving forward. And, you know, some key thoughts that came up with some cards that I drew this morning. So Sandra, good morning. Renee, good morning. Margaret, good morning. Oh, love and hearts and all kinds of things, anger signs, happy signs. <laughs> yes, we have all of those emotions running rampant. Um, uh, I don't know if I could show you the top of my head, but I clocked my head on a tree yesterday and uh, that was sort of the message uh, 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 as I wrote this morning, uh, this, uh, process of forgiving myself for um, a lot of things that I'm doing that really have been important, but I need to back off. And I think a lot of us might resonate with that. Uh, we've all been pushing ourselves through these energy fields, okay? And uh, it's not going to go unnoticed by the greater universe and uh, the world around us and the end result is really uh, some sort of um, I don't want to use the word destruction but some kind of uh, pain and suffering for us that's who we are as humans we experience pain and suffering and I know many of you over the couple of years or year and a half that I've been doing these talks have shared with me a lot of your pain and suffering in your life and I know that it's important for us all to gather in love around each other and to support each other as we go through this. So that's what this talk is this morning is about. And if you're feeling this uh, tug of war within yourself um, between your ego and your higher self, just know that these energies that are shifting uh, are, and is, stressing our ability to um, maintain balanced emotional expression. And the, these are very challenging times for all of us. So you're not alone. Uh, we're in this together. We're going to go through this together. Um, the more we can uh, support each other, the easier it's going to become for all of us. I'm not any different than you are. Yes, I've had some amazing experiences in, in my journey in this incarnation. Uh, but that doesn't make me better than you or it doesn't make me um, less than you. We're all equal here. Each one of us are growing and changing and transmuting, uh, evolving at, at whatever rate is in synchronicity with who we are as a complete soul being. So the message was, you are not alone, we are one. And, and that's what I want to impress upon each of you today is that 
we are one. We are one humanity moving through this, even though we have different personal expressions and different personal issues to deal with. There is no one who is not around us that is not expressing this in some shape, manner, or form. It's how do we deal with our own personal journey through this. So um, it, it came to my mind that we're always in this state of self-forgiveness. When we talk about forgiveness, we look outside and I want to forgive this person or that person. And, um, and in essence, really what we're saying is I want to forgive myself for being in such a state of energy motion, uh, you know, energetic motion that I, I, I'm, I'm stuck. I, I'm, I'm focusing on this person with either anger or pain or suffering or I'm focusing on this and I can't get beyond it. How do I, how do I get beyond this? So really what I want to do is forgive myself and, and come to know that this self that I am is really the beginning point of forgiveness. It isn't outside of me. And I wrote in the comment up there, forgiving, to be for or in favor of giving. And it may sound a lot of people selfish because that's what we were in train to believe, but in giving to ourselves, what we do is raise the frequencies and the energies that we can give to others. And sometimes it's simultaneously in the same moment. It's like an instant and boom, it happens. Um, and I can't explain that. And I can't, it's not something you can teach. It's something you have to open yourself up to, your heart up to, to saying, I deserve better than this. If there's anyone who's really putting me down or there's anyone who's really um, driving me crazy, it's me. And I need to let that go a little bit. I know we're not going to do it completely. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? And we may at some point in our you know, future evolution. But right now, it's just time to embrace ourselves and say, what no longer fits? What no, you know, it's like growing, I've, I've been throwing away clothes that don't fit anymore. Or what doesn't fit? What doesn't fit me anymore? Somehow I've grown, I've changed, I've transformed, and something it, things don't fit anymore. So let's let's let them go. Let's uh, let them go, and and forgive ourselves for hanging on to them for so long. They no longer serve us. We're already at a higher level than we were last year and the year before. And we're growing at an evolutionary pace. You know, it's, I use that word evolutionary. It's the only word. I mean, it's just phenomenal to be moving this fast over time. And the span of a week, a month is like, whoa. I, I look back and I'm saying, I can't believe how rapidly everything is just, I don't have any time left. There's no time. It's bizarre. So, this morning, as I was writing the, this window over here, I'm writing my notes. Um, there was a little baby bird. There's a little spruce tree that's outside the door window. And it jumped out of the tree. And its first flight it was just kind of flapping its wings. And it was frightened. And it's grabbed to the screen with its claws. And the mother was in the tree chatting to it and telling it to come back, to come back. You know. It, and I looked and I says, how beautiful message. What a beautiful message. Even though that little tiny bird only flew, flew a few feet away from the safety and security of its nest, it was willing to take that leap. And where would it be if it didn't take that leap? And I says, thank you, guides. Thank you, angels. I mean, this is where I'm at today. This is what I woke up to. This is what I want to share to everybody who listens to me is to be that little bird, that little bird who doesn't really know how to fly yet, but so wants to, so wants to get out and move and, 
and have its real beingness. Um, so it was a beautiful witnessing for me, and I, I share that with each of you to remind you that we are like little birds um, flying for the, the first time in our lives, getting our wings and saying, ooh, it, this is fun, but it's scary. This is, this is exciting, but oh my goodness, I, I, I need to hold on to something. Beautiful message. Thank you, bird tribes. I love you all. Um, you're amazing beings in my life. So we may not, getting back to forgiveness, we may not know how to forgive. And this is a quote from Louise Hay. And I looked up some quotes about forgiveness, and then I'll get on to the cards. But we may not know how to forgive. We may not want to forgive. But in the very fact we say we are willing to forgive begins the healing practice. And so that was from Louise Hay, whose books, you know, are just amazing. And her life and of sharing other people's messages with us has been profound as a, a, guide, a guiding light in, in many lives. And it was, this is the beginning of the healing practice is being willing to forgive. So with that said, all of us healing, all of us forgiving, uh, smiling, laughing. It's a bright sunny day here in Maine. And uh, I love the rain. I love the water. But the sun, we need the sun. So the first card this morning was enchantment. <laughs> and that's there's just a name it's a galaxy cluster call called macs j o seven one seven and um it's basically uh, a collision of uh uh stars and so the the word was enchantment and I said, what has that got to do with any of what I'm going to talk about today? And I just accept what I'm given. And when I read the, uh, the quote, this is a sacred space meditation deck by Eleanor von Linden. And the, the quote for enchantment was, the universe is magical. It creates wonderful miracles in my world. I said, Wow. Never thought of enchantment in that aspect. The universe is magical. It creates wonderful miracles in my world. And the first thought that came through to me was how many times I don't notice them. How many times I've just let the universe and it's magic just rush by me or I rush by it and not pay attention to it. And so this is a very, very powerful expression, uh, inferring that we are always supported by the universe in, in our choice of creating miracles in our own lives. We are the ones who create the miracles in our lives by allowing ourselves to tap in and let go of what's driving us nuts and open to the flow of the universe and its abundance. It's an abundant energy. There is no lack. There is no suppression. It offers itself freely, constantly. We're the ones who set the limitations on who we are what we are, what we can do, who we can forgive, who we can't forgive, including ourselves. And we give ourselves a million reasons why. <laughs> why we do this because we, it's because of this or it's because of that or I can't do that, I can't go there. It's all fine. And each, each of us are in that experience and we have to make those determinations for our personal self. But I'm trying to encourage you to step beyond that gateway of fear or gateway of anger or gateway of hatred or whatever it is that's holding you back from 
taking the leap from that tree to the window screen. It may only be a few feet, but in that moment, you will start to begin to feel the freedom of the truth of who you really are. And so, um, this is forgiveness, creating miracles in our lives. This is, uh, this, especially as we move forward um, at the speed of light. And it's actually beyond the speed of light. It's not, you know, we think of the terms of speed of light and, oh, you can't go, be we're moving beyond that. Um, this is a process that is not recorded in the memories of humanity. And so it's, it's an evolutionary process. The second card I pulled, which I would like to read to you, was from the Kuan Yin Oracle book by Alana Fairchild. And it was the Tao. And it's a beautiful, peaceful card. Never tell which way to turn these things. <laughs> Very peaceful repose of uh, playing the harp. And, and this is the flow, the flow. Like if you see the, feel the sound of the flow of music, peaceful music, uh, the energy, it's the flow. And so it, it reads accordingly like this. The Tao is always flowing. Uh, always nourishing life into creation, always presenting steps and solutions, and always reminding us that we are our perfection in this moment. You are being guided to relax and allow, allow life to flow. Such a gift, the flow of life. When we don't forgive, we, count, we counterbalance the flow. So perhaps we can see that flow that has recently or rapidly intensified lately is and as a gift, not a burden to overcome. If we can't address our angers, and we can't forgive ourselves, what we're really doing is restricting the flow. And in restricting the flow, what we do are, is, is create vortices of energy, which really defeat all of our greater intentions. So that was the message that came through me this morning as I presented to you. And in turn, it, it keeps us from manifesting grace and ease. We always talk about grace and ease. What does that feel like? For many of us, I would say they've never felt it because it's something we allow ourselves to feel. And if we can't forgive ourselves for whatever we think is wrong with us, how are we ever going to experience grace and ease? And grace and ease is really a balancing energy of anger and restriction. So here we have the Tao, the balance, the yin, the yang. We can choose. We always have this possibility to choose. What we choose is what we're going to represent. It's as much something we're creating as much as it is happening to us. That's a tough, tough thought. But we do, we do this. In turn, we can overcome all of this by coming back into our hearts, and opening, opening the gateway for forgiveness. I urge you to try it in little bits. I know many of you have great pain. Try it in little bits. Start with simple things, very easy things. 
in the writing, it says, there are times when the Tao, the mystery of the source, endlessly unfolding, calls us strongly to be flexible and to stop fighting against the flow and instead let it move us. It is the difference between trying to swim all the way to shore, not even knowing if we are headed in the right direction, but just thinking we could be on the one hand and allowing a cosmic wave to lift us, carrying us and deposit us on the shoreline, on the right shoreline for us, quickly and with grace. This is the universe supporting us, however you want to look at it, whatever name you want to give to it. It does not particularly have favor with how or what you look at it. It just wants you to, to see it, to engage in the journey of looking for it in your life. Where is it showing up? How is it showing up? Oh, Gemma, good morning. You've, you've done a lot of writing over here. I think you got your own show going, girl. <laughs> we need to hear you live. Yeah, so, um, yeah, all positive thoughts. These are all amazing. Thank you, Gemma, for uh, answering and speaking in the sidelines. I, I encourage people to do that and share your own thoughts. I read them all later. I just don't uh, focus on them as much right here, right now. So as the last, um, the last card that I pulled comes from a, a very old deck that I have, uh, probably the first deck of cards that I ever, that ever came to me. And it's called the 1111 Alignment Cards. It's no longer in print. And I have spoken with Zira Char Starchild. Um, she messaged me because she, knew I was posting uh, some of her writings and teachings in the cards and she thanked me for continuing that, um, that she no longer does that, but, um, and they're out of print. But that was a confirmation to me to remind me of how much she helped me with her messages. And I in turn uh, shared them with the world that, and, and it got back to her and she, uh, was gracious enough to, to speak to me. And so hearing in is this process of reciprocity of when we reach out and extend ourselves and forgive ourselves for a lot of things and step into newness, um, the universe will provide us with uh, confirmations continually. So the card for today, uh, what did I do with it? Hmm. Uh, it's here somewhere under my pile of stuff. <laughs> egoless. That's egoless one. And it's just the picture of this beautiful um, circle with all of these little fragments of, I'm going to call it a golden light circle, with all of these little fragments. <sighs> moving away from it. When I look at it, I say, that's who we are. We're all these, we're all these fragments of light. And the message of the card is, I am an individual unit of consciousness. I merge now back with all consciousness. Isn't that really what we're doing? We are choosing to end our journey of separation. We may not think of that consciously in our minds, but in our hearts, isn't that what we yearn for? A sense of belonging, a sense of loving one another completely without fear. We're each individual units of consciousness. We're the ones who comprise consciousness. This is 
our journey. Um, she doesn't give any readings for the card. She just leaves you with those words to make you think about uh, where does that play in your life? And this was the gift to me. As I had just finished, well, I just, yeah, I had just finished um, A Course in Miracles. I was a facilitator for A Course in Miracles years ago, uh, over 20, 25 years ago, probably 20, 25 years ago. And I had left one group in uh, Newburyport, Mass, and I was gifted with an opportunity to host my own um, group in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And uh, until the store closed and this deck of cards was on the deck as they were getting rid of, you know, different things. They sold um, a lot of metaphysical issues and healing um, modality um, books, etc. And this called me. It was the last one on the deck and I had no clue. And it's been a part of my guides, you know, my guidance for 20 over 20 years. Whenever I think what's the message that the universe the cosmic universe has to say to me i'll grab that deck so i encourage people to find decks that resonate with you and use them in these moments when we're struggling to be forgiving or we're struggling or having issues with what is the next step for us and trust that you will pick the right card and listen to it they will speak to you. So she doesn't give any meanings for these messages. So we're supposed to discern them with our own consciousness. Interesting. Our consciousness. Because we're already there. We, we understand it from the point of her writing, if we allow ourselves. This is how we move forward more rapidly, is accepting our ability to discern for ourselves the right path, the right moment, and know that it resonates with our heart and our soul in this beautiful divine union. And um, these words that she writes bring, are based, based on bringing forth our angelic and celestial self, which is part of the journey, isn't it? And each one of us feel these shifting and change, changings in our in our thought patterns and our behaviors, and and sometimes we try to defy them. We go, I can't do that. That's I'm I'm being too nice. <laughs> I don't know how many of you felt that. It's like I can't keep on going around hugging people and loving people. This is crazy. This is crazy. Somebody's going to you know knock me out someday. You know. But I can't stop. I can't stop because it's who I am and it's who you are if you allow yourself to really set yourself free. You know, we have to do it with respect for each other. But I encourage you to learn to forgive yourselves. And in doing that, you will automatically be far more willing to, to forgive others. Because all we're doing is looking at each other as mirrors. And I bless you all on this, on this journey. I'm going to end this call with uh, a message, a quote from another amazing person that I met in my journey with The Course in Miracles 25 years ago. Um, the interesting thing is this just popped up into my field as I was looking for quotes on forgiveness. And lo and behold, I'm scanning through the, uh, the list, and this one comes up. We may not know how to forgive, and we may not want to forgive, But the very fact we say we are willing to forgive begins the healing practice. And so, you know, this is, again, an amazing process that we are going through. 
And each of us has the ability to change every pattern in our lives. And I am witnessing this as you are. No further different than you are, other than my journey has perhaps been longer and I've witnessed a bit more. This gives me the gift of being able to share what is meaningful in my life and changes with each of you without fear. And each of you are so special that it can't be put into words. It is like giving birth, like the baby bird, giving birth to a new you and being both the mother and the child and allowing yourself to, to leap forward. And yet knowing that you on that higher level will grab you if you go too far. This is, I like to call it, the, the divine mother rising in all of us. Each one of us, whether we are in masculine or in our feminine form, are comprised of this beautiful balance of energies. And it's time now we use them as we rapidly move forward into a world that has never been experienced before. One that each of us are co-creating in this moment. I love you all. I thank you all. I bless you all. I am you. You are me. We are unity. Thank you from my heart to yours. Have a great week. Know that each one of you are experiencing whatever you're experiencing uniquely to teach you who you truly are. Honor your teacher. Your teacher is a beautiful and wise being in its true and perfect original form, speaking to you through the universe. With that, I'm complete. Enjoy. Uh, bless you all. I can't wait to read the sidelines. I just felt that this message was important to uh, put out in its entirety as it um, came through me this morning. So with that, I'm complete. I love you. I will post it on my page and hopefully at some time I'll catch up with my blogs and uh, we'll have all of these on my blog page. And thank you, uh, Humanity Healing, for this opportunity to share with the world um, the messages that come through me, that embody me, and um, share the with each of you. Bye-bye. Have a great, great, great week. In live video, nothing happens. Woohoo! <laughs>